Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G Wolf and welcome back to Simburbia. You guys seemed to enjoy it last time, so I'm going to be uh, making sure I try and get as many little details as possible out of the city we'll build with our own two hands and lots and lots and lots of money. Speaking of which, I actually need to focus on some more things now. Actually, I need to focus on commercial, which I believe we were going to put over there. So let's go and do that. Wee! Ow! Well, we almost died. That's always a good thing. Thankfully, death is not important because uh, we keep our inventory and we spawn in the mayor's office anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Was it here? Yeah, we want to do it here, actually, because we don't want to... I want this area here. I'm wanting this to be a power plant because uh, that way it will power as much of the land as possible. So let's get ourselves a commercial, plonk it in there. I think that's right. Yes, yes. And build away. So this should make that land. Uh, it might make it a plus three. Yeah, it might actually make it a plus three. Dandelion, no. So let's have a look around this plus three. Oh, wait, no. This has the Netflox HQ and such, doesn't it? So this might actually be suppositories. Ooh, fun time potion. I, I don't know if I want that. Oh, hey, the city ant colony. I got ants. You wonder why there is a huge ant farm in, uh, as big as a building in town. That is a very good point. When you consider the scale of these buildings, that is pretty big. Fun time potion. I don't know if I want to use this. Sod it. Oh, God. What'd that do? Speed and jump boost. Okay, what? Did, whoa! Oh no, this is bad. Uh, <laughs> well, that was certainly a fun time. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I kind of want another one, not gonna lie. <laughs> that was uh, that was quite amusing for me. One more potion, please. Thank you. What do we have here? Harry's Staves of Power. Get yours now for 300k. Huh. So I'm wondering if we actually get 300k, if we can get something from that. City of Loaves Bakery. Strange smelling bread. It smells like a cross between a pizza, a homeless person, a beer, sweaty boxing gloves, and a cat. So gross. Hey, congratulations! A world-class tax advisor has moved into town and has given you extra advice. You can now have additional ways to increase and decrease property values. So now we've extended our main menu and we could actually, so for example, let's have a look at the map. So for example, because this uh, residential area is next to a power plant, its value is down. But what we can do is actually, I'll go and grab this uh, back to the town hall. Oh yeah, I forgot our town hall was like pink as hell right now. Uh, oh, can we not? Hang on, what? They're not the, the well, oh, okay. Uh, oh. Oh. It seems some of the things have fallen off. That's... Okay. Well, whatever. So, it would be this one. This one would say, like, investment 100k. Uh, which means it's going to cost us 100 money. Which is pretty expensive. I don't know where they all went. Uh, so, that's kind of weird. And basically, what this will allow us to do is... Permanently? I think it's permanently... It might not actually be permanently, but it will allow us to up the value of a single area uh, in case it's being affected negatively by something else. And this is a good way to get revenue from places that are being affected. Uh, so let's take this one because it's being affected by uh, this area is being affected by the power plant. So if we chuck this in here, it'll upgrade this area of town with the new wealth. There we go. So now it is another revenue or like another land value higher than it was before. Uh, the thing is, like I said originally, uh, was that when you upgrade it like this, it does not affect the areas around it, much like when you build something next to a plot. And that's the difference between doing that. You can advance and d and subtract land value by putting certain buildings next to other buildings but when you do it like this 
Uh, that way you force it, force it to change, but don't force the other things to change around it. Whew! Bit of an explanation there, but overall, it just means we're going to get more money from that area. So, they still want more commercial. Are you fucking... Okay, I'm, I'm going to put it behind the uh, power plant, because that seems like a good place to put it. Of course, the only problem is when the industry, uh, industrial area comes along. Is that a Steve head? What is that doing there? That is a DJ music... DJ, DJI music's head. I have no idea who that is, but... Uh, yeah, once the industry comes around here, it's gonna decrease the value of this of this area, so. Well, unless I, no, that's not true, actually. I could put like a park here, actually, because parks are useful for reducing pollution. Yeah, as you can see, this place is a, is a Burger Queen right now, I believe. Is it Burger Queen? Let's go and have a look around the outside. Ding dong! What? Look at the Burger Queen, fresh cream Oh, uh, thank you. Can I have uh, a Pepsi Cola? A Popsi Cola? At least it isn't Coke. Pepsi all the way, bruh. So, yeah, this is, I think, a minus one area, actually, which is a, a funny dig at, at Burger King, I guess. And so this is upgraded to, like, is this a plus three now? Because plus four is the maximum you can go. So, moral, uh, ma mayoral speed shoes, 500k. Oh, wait, do you get, like, speed boots? Ooh. Orange juice? For you, Mayor? Free. I'll tell you, though, there's no money in citrus these days. I'm gonna get into 3D animation. There's probably a joke there. I don't get it, though. <laughs> Take your time. Fun fact. The sun moves each day. A single day in suburbia lasts a whole month. So just by looking at the sun slash moon, you can tell what day it is. So, if we want to do that though, we have a clock that we can use to tell the month. Creep Street Emporium of Enticement. Hmm, okay. So yeah, this is, uh, this is a stage three area, I believe. It's pretty cool. There's not a whole lot to do on it though, actually. This isn't the one where you have to parkour up a thing, is it? No, no, this isn't. There is a there is a certain shopping area I know where you have to like parkour up some stuff. And I'll definitely be doing that at some point. Alright, so now they're actually wanting more industrial and residential areas. So we'll build another factory here. I don't know if factories, industrial areas, get affected by the power plant. I do think they ooh, I do think they do. So we'll have to see. Uh, no, they don't. Okay, that's good, actually. Or do they? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Because this... No, this is a rank two. No, a rank plus... Actually, I can find out. So I might have been saying, like, plus twos and such, and land values and, and so on, and it might be confusing to you. So what we can actually do is toggle the land value overlay. What this allows us to do on the map is see... Oh, it's a plus four, that, that area. Ooh! So as you can see in the top left, all of our industry is plus two. Most of our village is plus two and plus three. Of course, the one commercial area down below is a plus one. And you can see that the main one is a plus four, which is huge. So yeah, they're really asking for more residential areas now. We actually have enough money to build another power plant. And... Hmm... Yeah, I'm thinking, like, the bottom. The bottom area will probably be the best place for that to go. And then we can extend the residential area out a little bit. The only problem is, it's going to lower the value of the two commercial places there, which is going to suck. We can also get a better layout of which area is what kind of pl uh, building by adding the plot type overlay. The only thing is, it's not wise to keep these on when you're actually walking around the town as much. Maybe the, the land value one is okay, but this one, not so much. Especially both of them. Because what that's actually doing is uh, putting blocks outside in the world. So, unless your computer can handle it, this is going to slow down your, uh, your performance a bit. But it's a clever way of doing it, and I'm very impressed that it's able to keep track of all of it, honestly. So, alright, what we want to do is we want to make another power plant in the bottom so we have another huge area to kind of build around and work around. Uh, 
which will help us, of course, because we'll get more money and such. I think it's here. Yeah. All right. Here. here. Uh, power plant is 300k, so that's a pretty expensive little thing. Put that in there and watch it go. And of course, this is negatively going to affect the uh, two next to it. So now we've got a uh, McDonald's. Is it a McDonald's? Was it? McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then this has just gone to another, the other area it was before. This has happened. We've had this before. So now, as you can see, our grid has extended quite a bit. The only problem is it hasn't extended to a point where I can build on the the furthest away sections, but this is good enough for now. So we want to build another residential plot in this area. Boop. Oh, Daisy, no. Daisy, Daisy. But we don't have to worry too much about the land value dropping now that we can actually just forcibly up the land value of an area. Pony, uh, Peony Luxury Place. I don't actually know if there's anything special around here. Because apparently you can right click on some things I didn't know about. You want to know what this town needs? A hospital or something. Too bad none exists. I think that's a dig at the, the Sim City. It's just like, more hospitals are needed. Oh, yeah. This guy wants uh, some money for Red Rock. Now, that's actually that's actually important uh, for later use, but I don't know if it's important enough for me to get right now. Super Jump Apartment Commons area. Oh, a broken leg in a barbecue? Local seer says I... Sense disasters in your future. You haven't had a good run, but in time your city will turn to rubble. Oh no, we've got pollution. We need to build a park. It's the only way to save against pollution. You can actually see uh, it's because we've got too much, too many power plants, and I believe uh, too many industry buildings. Maybe I'm not sure. That was a cool. That's actually a cool power plant, though. You've got like wind turbines. Broken Winds Power Plant. <laughs> I get it. It's like you're farting. It's funny. It's a joke. I get it. Okay, so a good way of maybe splitting this off is because I think a park in general upgrades areas that are around it no matter what type it is. So having this in between the commercial and the industry might actually be a good choice. Yeah, that might have been the best choice, actually. That was a that's a pretty good choice overall, I think. And it'll also uh, reduce the pollution in the air, so it means that we won't have to worry about uh, any negative effects from that. Oh yeah, we've got this place, the the Cortex attribute uh, attribution system, attribution, uh, and the cloning device. So over here, this is something this is something special. <clears throat> Log. One by one, the army is made. One by one, they melt into a pool on the floor. Perhaps they need their own little flurry to survive. Who is Olaf? Hmm. I don't know, but we can put in a clone template. And we give the, uh, we got a cerebral cortex. Put it in the dispenser. Yay! Of course, I think he melts if he comes out, doesn't he? So he's going to stay in there for the time being. I don't know if there's something... Maybe maybe it's hinting that you can, like, make a uh, iron golem. Ooh. Uh, in that, in that kind of system. I don't know, actually. That'd be interesting. So... The nice thing about this park is, is it's a nice little thing to walk around, and actually, we can change the way the park looks if we use the 100k upgrading system. Uh, it also does it for power plants as well. It doesn't actually upgrade those, it only changes their look, so that is purely an aesthetic thing. Oh, we're still getting bad pollution. So they want more commercial, which I can build uh, next to the other commercial near the park. And they want a bit more industry. So I guess I'll build two more industrial areas and one more commercial. See how that goes. Yeah, all right. We've advanced another day. So I guess, yeah, we'll put an industry here. Is the pollution down now? Yeah, I think the pollution's down enough now. We're going to need at least four parks anyway, because that'll allow us to unlock another Great Works system. Oh, that's a good point, actually. We should upgrade the Great Works. I didn't even think about that. Oh, I like this one, actually. This one's a pretty funny one. 
Robotex teleporter. Oh, Robtex teleporter. Sorry. Sorry. Oh no, we're stuck. Uh, except button there. Oh, but we're on top now. I don't know if there's any reason to be on top of here, but hey, it's nice to be up there, I guess. Oh, there's another one over there, actually. Is that? I think these are plus twos. So it went from a plus two to a plus two? That's a bit weird. The frozen creation system. Oh, this is, this made two of them. Okay. Does this one say any different? Anything different? Nah. Still, still come some kind of mumbo jumbo about an army. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Let's build this. 50k. That's not too bad. City dump. Bing. Oh, yeah. I forgot it pushes you back. The city dump has been built. Now, what this does is say if we have any items that we're not using anymore. I know, ants, whatever. Throw them in there, and it will either give you money. Cha-ching! Dollar dollar bill, y'all! And it will give you just one amount of money. Uh, and... Take it away from you, of course. Uh, it also can charge you if you... if you. It's basically luck. <laughs> it's, it's nothing special, it's just luck honestly and you just throw stuff in there and maybe get some money it gets upgraded la upgraded later uh, and it will give you more money and then in the end I don't think it actually charges you welcome to episode 738 of the shaft and a big welcome back to our next guest Jigarbov Jigarbov it's been 30 years since he came on last time I think that's a podcast isn't it like an actual podcast well hello there little one would you like some candy? No! The Illuminati Headquarters. Chaz's Cigar Shop. Avoid downtown taxes. Buy your smokes here. Yeah, it's a giant cigar. Visit Chaz's Liquor and Guns. New downtown location. Fight Club by invitation only. Don't ask about Fight Club. Don't ask about Fight Club. Florist place is Burger King. Oh no, this is a. Oh no, it's not a burger place. It's a. Uh, it's a circus. Oh, but it is a burger. Wait, no, it's a hot dog place. Ketchup and mustard designer studio. What are you doing up there? Cheeky Checkers Chess Club Championship. The, the five C. <laughs> All right. So, what's in demand? Residential and commercial. Oh, that's right, I was going to build a commercial, and I never did. And um, I can also, like, upgrade more of the residential area over there, I guess. The giant cigar. Quite an effective weapon. Causes death. Can I, like, put it down? Can I smoke it? Can I hit someone with it? Wah! Wah! Doesn't cause that much death. So, whatever. Unless they're talking about a weapon... Of your lungs, bum bum bum. There's a anti-smoking message in there somewhere. All right, uh, more residential here, I guess. Yeah, we'll put more residential here. Bing, let's go, and that'll upgrade the commercial anyway, which is useful because it's by a goddamn power plant, so it's gonna need the upgrade anywho. Damn flowers. Oh, it's another area with the uh, the golf. Not the golf. <laughs> That's not golf. What am I on about with the uh, basketball? Oh, hey, have we had this one? Yeah, no, no, we have had this one. Yeah, we've definitely had this one. Yeah, because I've got the awesome stick and the secret script. Since I have uh, a duplicate of this, I could go and put it in the garbage. Garbage day. And then see if I get any money for it, if they charge me for getting rid of unique items, I guess. I don't know. Also, this is a good place to build, just because you can actually store your stuff in the chests over there. And it even recommends you to, like... Yeah, we got money for that. And we didn't get anything for that. We didn't get charged, though, which is nice. And don't throw stacks in. Do it singly, or else he gets very confused and only gives you one dollar for the whole stack. Uh, it does warn you about that. So... Hey, are we one year old now? Wow, the, the city's one years old. One year old, one years, whatever. It says years there. But, uh, wow, I didn't realize we'd been going on for so long. Uh, in the game, anyway. I guess it's because I've been playing at llama speed. 
uh, where I usually play kind of, I usually play turtle just to, I don't know, mess around with stuff. All right, we want to build more commercial. Let's build it this way. We've kind of singled off all of our previous commercial area, so let's make like the bottom left the commercially interesting area, I guess. And then I know another place where we can build a uh, power plant to extend the the power grid. Commercial! Bing! And... Upgrade! So I don't think we're going to see any major... Congratulations, you have so many residents that they want a better transit system. Luckily, they devise a bus system that can travel around your whole city to get around easier. Wait, that's actually really weird that I've upgraded that now. Because I've actually had trouble upgrading this previously. It took ages before I got this. Why have I got this now? 400k? I could actually do that. Fuck it. Yeah, bus system. That cost a lot though, but hey, bus system. Can press all these buttons. What does this do? It's a dispenser that does nothing. Oh, I thought I could get in then. Man, you got me so excited to get in. Jigron one. Flof, flof, flof. Fall elf. Flof, awful. And because we've got the upgrade or the bus station now, we can actually use this to teleport around the city if need be. I mean, it's not that bad, but hey, we can do it now if we want. So they still want more commercial and more industrial. Okay, so we'll put in an industry and then we'll use uh, one of the grants to upgrade an area. I do want to see kind of how it... Oh no, you're a laborer and you're a zombie man. No, is that trying to tell us something? The true meaning of something? Pokesy Cola. Popsy Cola. Keep calling it Popsy Cola. <laughs> Let's have a look in here. I think it's one we've had before. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Got another key if ever I need it. I don't know what I need that for yet. Oh, is this? Oh, what is this one? Oh, yay! It's the particle effects in uh, place. Wee! We got lava drops. I like seeing particle effects in Minecraft. I love it in like when servers have them. The problem is they always have them like, you know, you have to be MVP plus. I'm looking at you, iPixel. Of course, this one isn't really a particle effect. This one is just, well, God's wrath. You know, that's a particle effect and a half, isn't it? Jesus. It's a good thing Hypixel don't charge for that. Smite you where you stand. So, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna see what our areas are looking like money-wise. Oh, maybe we should build the other the other park here when we need to, because that way it will protect the industry area from leaking into our main city and reducing any areas worth value. Oh, actually, we need to actually see how much things are. Oh, that's a plus one still. Okay, that's not too bad then. We have our first warning. You need more parks. Pollution levels are too high and people start... Oh, God damn it. Again? So we've got more pollution again, have we? Yeah, we do. All right. Well, now's the perfect time to build said park I was talking about. Guess this is a better time than any. Hopefully, it'll give me a good one. I like some of these parks. They have, a, they have like, hidden secrets in them. Oh, yeah, like this one. This one has actually has a secret in it. And uh, I can't actually get to it at the moment because you need to get to the top. It is the Tree of Life Conservatory. <clears throat> Park Ranger. They say there any there are wondrous things in the tree branches. I wonder if anyone could get up there. Maybe if this was in a better location, actually, would be a lot better, I imagine. Okay, so that's upgraded quite a bit. Wait, we have a plus four? I didn't know we did that. Wait, no, yeah, we, yeah, I did. This is a plus four area. Was there anything up here? No, it was just a nice park. That's right, Garden of Harmony. <sighs> I feel enlightened. I feel relaxed up here. 
It's nice. Oh yeah, Reese's Gaming Lounge. I don't think I saw that before. <laughs> okay, so where's an area we can upgrade? We can upgrade the two or the three. Let's upgrade the three, cause that way. Was it? Was it this one? Yeah, this one. Upgrade. Oh wait, what is this? Is this a commercial? Yeah, I think this. Is, no wait, no. This is a residential. Okay. So upgrade the residential. Give them the the government funding. Bam. Oh yeah, I haven't figured out what to do with this one yet. So this one's still interesting to me. Citrion Sentry Condiments. Condiments. Biometric entry system required. Access denied. I can't get in there, and I'm thinking there might be a way in there, but I don't know what it is yet. So, let's have a quick look at what we've done over these past few nights. Uh, past few months. Oh no, 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 hang on. You need to go and turn off the overlay first. Uh, there. We, are we still polluted? Oh, that sucks. At least until the next day. Ah, oh, look how much we've advanced though. Man, this place is looking really nice. I'm liking the look of this. As you can see, just over there, you can see that chest in the tree there? That's what we need to try and get to at some point. So we'll need to try and get on top of a building somewhere. So anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Simburbia. I hope you've enjoyed it. Throw us a like if you did, and I'll catch you next time. Okay, thanks. Bye. Come on!